Shalom everybody, my name is Miss Amy and I am so excited to be with you today. I hope that everybody is having a wonderful Sabbath. So you may remember our scripture story earlier about Jacob in Genesis Bereshith 28. When Yahuwah was talking to Jacob and reminding him of the promises that he made to Abraham and Isaac before him. Starting in chapter 28, verse 13 through 15. And see, Yahuwah stood above it and said, I am Yahuwah, Elohim of Abraham, your father, and the Elohim of Ishtar, the land on which you are lying. I give it to you and your seed, and your seed shall be as the dust of the earth, and you shall break forth to the west and to the east, to the north and to the south, and all the clans of the earth shall be blessed in you and in your seed. And see, I am with you and shall guard you wherever you go and shall bring you back to this land, for I am not going to leave you until I have done what I have spoken to you. And if we go back a little bit in Genesis to chapter 12, we can see where this promise started when he was talking to Abraham. Starting in verse 1, And Yahuwah said to Abram, Go yourself out of your land, from your relatives and from your father's house, to a land which I show you, and I shall make you a great nation, and bless you, and make your name great, and you shall be a blessing, and I shall bless those who bless you, and curse him who curses you, and in you all the clans of the earth shall be blessed. He talks to Abraham in Genesis 17 also, starting in verse 4 through 7. As for me, look, my covenant is with you, and you shall become a father of many nations. And no longer is your name called Abram, but your name shall be Abraham, because I shall make you a father of many nations, and I shall make you exceedingly fruitful, and make nations of you, and sovereigners shall come from you. And I shall establish my covenant between me and you and your seed after you and their generations for an everlasting covenant to be Elohim to you and your seed after you. And we see Yahuwah making the same promise to Isaac before Yaakov in Genesis 26, 3 through 5. Sojourn in this land and I shall be with you and bless you for I give all these lands to you and your seed. And I shall establish the oath which I swore to Abraham your father. And I shall increase your seed like the stars of the heavens. And I shall give all these lands to your seed. And in your seed all the nations of the earth shall be blessed. Because Abraham obeyed my voice and guarded my charge, my commands, my laws, and my Torah. The very awesome thing about this promise that Yahuwah gave to Abraham, Ishtak, and Yaakov is that it's also a promise for us. When we become Yahuwah's children and we are grafted into Israel by faith in Messiah Yahusha and follow Yahuwah in His ways and in His Torah, we also are promised these things. Galatians 3.29 And if you are of Messiah, then you are seed of Abraham and heirs according to promise. I don't know about you, but I think that is so amazing and so helpful to know that Yahuwah is always with us, no matter where we are or what is going on, if we're scared, if we're upset, if times are just hard we can know and rest in His promise that He is always with us. Just as He told Yaakov. Isaiah 41, 8-10 through 10. But you, Israel, are my servant, Yaakov, whom I have chosen, the descendants of Abraham who loved me, whom I have strengthened from the ends of the earth, and called from its farthest parts, and said to you, You are my servant. 
I have chosen you and have not rejected you. Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not look around, for I am your Elohim. I shall fortify you, I shall also help you. I shall also uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. One of my favorite verses when I am having a really hard time, I'm scared or upset is Isaiah 43, one through seven. But now, thus said Yahuwah, your creator, O Yaakov, and he who formed you, O Israel, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I am with you, and through rivers, they do not overflow you. When you walk through fire, you are not scorched, and a flame does not burn you. For I am Yahuwah, your Elohim, the set-apart one of Israel, your Savior. I give Mitzayrim for your ransom, Cush and Seba in your place. Since you were precious in my eyes, you have been esteemed, and I have loved you. And I give men in your place and peoples for your life. Do not fear, for I am with you. I shall bring your seed from the east and gather you from the west. I shall say to the north, give them up, and to the south, do not keep them back. Bring my sons from afar and my daughters from the ends of the earth. All those who are created by my name, whom I created, formed, even made for my esteem. So I hope that helps to know Yahuwah's promise that he made to Yaakov wasn't just for Yaakov, but for all of us. That no matter what happens in our lives, that he is always with us and that he promises to be a blessing to us. I hope you enjoy the rest of your Sabbath. Shabbat Shalom.